What went through the Greek Prime Minister's mind as he was driven into Berlin today? Did he feel like David coming to meet Goliath or a troublesome governor summoned to Caesar? German media portrayed him as an outlaw dragged to the sheriff. But in the self-assured, some say arrogant style now associated with Greece's new government, Alexis Tsipras kept the queen of the Eurozone waiting. Getting out to greet supporters on his way to meet her. Relations between Germany and Greece may be their worst in decades, but rules are rules. Mr Tsipras was greeted with military honours. He seemed preoccupied. EU sources suggest his government could run out of money in two weeks. He was here to plead for bailout flexibility, an injection of cash to take care of debts abroad and the needy at home. He had hoped a face-to-face -face meeting would help. Greece and Germany need to understand each other better, he said, in order to face common difficulties together. But Angela Merkel repeated that Germany alone can't help. It's not Germany that decides, she said, referring to the bailout agreement, it's international institutions. Berlin is a city of memories from Nazi times and Soviet ones, like here at the Berlin Wall. This country has known deep divisions. Angela Merkel believes Europe must now stick together. If the Eurozone fails, Europe fails, she says. So for her today, the talks were far more political than economic. She worries about Russia as well, seeking to divide Europe once again. The new Greek government is cozying up to Moscow. She wants to keep them firmly in the EU fold. But most Germans now disagree with her. They want Greece out of the Eurozone. There's a growing sense of injustice and frustration here. Recent comments from Greece hurt me, calling us Nazi Germany. We can't forget the past, but it has nothing to do with this situation. If someone's deep in debt and gets financial help, they should be grateful, not just ask for more. But Germans fear Greece will need more, a third bailout as soon as this summer, if it's still in the Eurozone by then. Katja Adler, BBC News, Berlin.